Welcome back. Uh, we just saw Minoru Suzuki and Yamada still fighting. Yamada has the lead, but can he hang on? Suzuki working that sleeper choke. Yamada again escaping. And uh, Suzuki here takes the, the top mount position. We'll have to look for another opportunity to try and take out the ever tough Manabu Yamada. Now, if you're Yamada on the bottom right now, uh, what are you thinking? Uh, you're thinking, hey, I got a 1 0. I got a 1 0 lead, but this guy is coming strong. He's one of the best in the business. And uh, if I really want to win this match, I'm going to have to catch him making another mistake. And uh, Minoru Suzuki uh, doesn't make too many of those. Yamada trying to roll over Suzuki, not allowing him. Suzuki attacking the double wrist lock now from the half guard position. Now getting to the full side, Yamada shoving Suzuki off, trying to get to his feet, but Suzuki uh, using that underhook, coming around the corner and shucking Yamada back down to the mat. Good job by Suzuki. Uh, Yamada trying to get back on his feet, unable to do so. Suzuki uh, employing an ankle ride there. Now trying to hook the arm of Yamada. Yamada again, managing to find his way out and getting caught in the leg. Both fighters with a hold of each other's leg, and looks like Yamada might have the uh, better position right now, Josh. Well, Suzuki is trying to do his best to make sure that he's the one that gets the, uh, the submission off here as they're still interlocked, but uh, referee bringing them back to their feet. Questionable, I think, uh, really, because both wrestlers were in a great position to submit the other. I think they should have been left to continue to work there myself. As both fighters are nearing the feet, Yamada uh, still coming towards Suzuki. Yamada hands down, feeling very confident and loose in the ring there. Suzuki sh shooting in and has Yamada taken down. Nice single leg. And if, if you're Minoru Suzuki, even though you're losing and time is running out, uh, you don't want to rush things because if you try to go too fast, you might make that mistake. Yeah, exactly. And in fact, it was that rushing uh, that cost him that first es and escape point that put Yamada ahead as Suzuki now in on the leg. And Suzuki once again grabs the rope and Josh, he's down to his last point. He has no margin for error. Yeah, he, I, it almost looked like he wasn't even really fully locked in there and just made just a, a big lack of judgment and reached over and grabbed that rope. Suzuki, the, the look on his face, he knows he is, it is going to be incredibly difficult for him to, to find, to get this match under control again and win. Yamada up uh, two points to nothing and with time running out has to be very confident of his chances so far. Yeah, Suzuki seeing that title opportunity slip away here as he's getting caught in the front choke but passing to the side is Suzuki as and end up in the ropes. Unfortunate for Yamada, he was in a favorable position but a little too close to the ropes and the fighters are going to have to restart again. Both fighters back on their feet. Both fighters fatigued and very sweaty at this point, which could make it difficult for either one to catch a significant submission on the other. Nice double leg by Suzuki. Suzuki with the side control on Yamada. Moving to the mount position is Suzuki. And uh, Minoru Suzuki may be trying to catch his breath, but uh, Josh, I think he has to be more active. He doesn't have a whole lot of time to work right now, and he, he does have Yamada's neck securely locked up, but uh, this is not likely going to get him the submission he wants, although he is working a modified straight neck crank there, but uh, letting go of that to try and work for something a little more favorable is Suzuki now. Yamada on the ground, Suzuki on top of him. And, it, and if you're uh, Yamada on the bottom and Suzuki's not doing anything, uh, I think you're content to just lay down there. Right. I think uh, it's really within uh, Suzuki's uh, court to make something happen here. As he tries to position Yamada towards the center of the ring. Looking for an arm is Suzuki. Now dropping back into a triangle choke. 
Suzuki can get that right leg across, perpendicular across Yamato's shoulders. He can tighten it up, but losing the choke is Suzuki, although he takes the underhook, comes out, and takes it out the back door, getting behind Yamada and continuing to stay on top. And uh, Minoru Suzuki has to be uh, at least a little bit frustrated. He's been the more active fighter. Looks like he's putting a lot more energy out there, and he's still trailing. Yes, yes, and in fact, I think, uh, if anything, Suzuki's spirit is down a bit, knowing that uh, he's in such a tough spot right now. Suzuki on the back of Yamada. Dropping a grapevine uh, hook in, single leg grapevine. Sliding off the back of Yamada as he's very sweaty. And Yamada getting on top now to the side control, threatening with a double wrist lock, going to the armbar. And Yamada very close to getting that armbar. Suzuki cannot allow his arms to separate. Looking for the rope is Suzuki, but stuck in the ring. And he, the arms do separate. Suzuki loses. Uh, Yamada forces the him to tap out in the armbar. Now Suzuki could not have grabbed the rope. He already lost two points. No points. はい、はい。ものすごく嬉しかったですね。すごく嬉しかったですね。どの辺が一緒にリングの上に立ってることが。I yeah, heard he could even fix attitudes. Oh, then uh, I definitely do need to check in along with maybe some of our producers and uh, directors. All right, our next fight, Wayne Shamrock against Masakatsu Funaki, two heavyweights in Pancras. Yes, yes. Uh, Ken Shamrock and Funaki, two of the main uh, protagonists of the uh, Pancras division here. This is a battle of uh, superstars to begin off. All right, and the winner will face Manabu Yamada in the finals for a shot at being the king of Pancras. 